been stacking up today a Twitter trade. Joining me now is Joel Hawthorne with The Morning Snapshot. Hello, Joel. Thanks for having me, Angie. So Twitter, everybody's talking about this because of the potential of a takeover. It has very much been in play. So all along the way, traders have been positioning for a move. So what's your position in Twitter? My position in Twitter right now, I've been long Twitter for some time. I think we, sp we spoke about it a few months ago on the show. That's been um, the right place to be. That is. That because is the definitely. stock has been moving higher. Absolutely, absolutely. And then over last week, we saw this stock jump to above 22 and change. So right now, this stock is, uh, this play that I've had on for a little bit has been paying really well. Uh, I like this stock to, uh, if the news is correct that we've heard on the street, uh, Twitter may pot potentially be acquired by another firm. If that happens, uh, they're projecting uh, Twitter to kind of get the price, to, the takeover price to be right around 26 and change. Wow, so you're in a great position. Absolutely. Now, what do you think about these analysts who are out telling people to sell Twitter here at these levels? You know, I think that, uh, quite frankly, they're that's kind of a conversation that they're having for someone who's thinking just very directionally in the long term, mm -hmm. uh, I think. But the way that I approach the market is always looking for insurance plays. And what I mean by insurance is definitely looking from a, uh, an options perspective. Uh, because with options, as you know, you can uh, actually be aggressive in a stock, but not have a, a whole lump sum of money in the play itself. So you're just buying call contracts as opposed to buying yes. lots and lots of Twitter stock. Absolutely. At the same time, who would you think would buy this company or what would be your play for potential takeover? Well, we've heard of Google's parent company, uh, it's called Alphabet, mm -hmm. uh, but one of the companies that really stuck out to me that I've heard about was a company called Salesforce. And their symbol is CRM, which stands for Customer Relationship Manager. Uh, this particular c uh, company uh, has been in the news uh, for a couple of days of acquiring Twitter, and I've seen that their stock has really been under pressure since that news came out. So what's your option strategy with Salesforce? My option strategy with Salesforce is actually what I like to call the fade. That way I believe that this stock is under pressure. I think this stock will fall aggressively, probably about two or three dollars. It's currently trading about seventy dollars now. I expect this stock to fall about sixty down to sixty-eight. So I'm buying puts. Uh, against uh, CRM right now, and that'll allow me to take advantage of this stock being under pressure. So, what puts are you buying? Those will be uh, October 21st, okay. and uh, that'll be that'll give me just a little time here to let for things to play out, depending on if it, if this takeover takes a week or two. Mm -hmm. uh, but that'll be the 68 strikes. The 68 strikes on Salesforce mm -hmm. in the options expiration of October 21st. That is correct. Do you think Salesforce would bounce back after this a big potential I do. move? I do. I think it's a strong company. I just think that like any market, once news kind of sh shakes investors, uh, I think that this stock is under pressure for a while. We'll find support right around maybe 67 and change, and then we'll steadily probably get back to its normal range. Right, because it's a cloud player. It is. And it that's is. a big area to be in right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. And this stock is very strong. I mean, so many businesses, small and large, use Salesforce for their customer database. So I think this stock is fine on the long term. Joel, I think you're fine. Thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Angie.